Hello, fellow knife enthusiasts. I'm back. And I'm excited to be back for the knife that I want to share with you. Uh, I just got this knife in the mail, so I haven't had it for long. I bought this off of Slicey Dicey, but I see you can now order them from Smoky Mountain Knife Works and I believe Blade HQ. Today's knife is from Artisan Cutlery, as you can see came in a great solid box that would last a long time and a nice felt pouch it's uh, actually really good quality I like the look of this the knife that I'm here to talk to you about is the artisan cutlery shark this thing is just beautiful I, mean, I don't know what else to call it it's beautiful this thing uh, it's got blue anodized stainless steel liners with a nice uh, semi-grippy G10 and blue anodized hardware. This thing is punching way above its pay grade. Uh, for $40 you're getting D2 steel and this is thick blade stock. It's actually a little thicker than I usually prefer uh, which made me think they weren't going to be able to get it very sharp but it is. It's razor sharp. It will shave this is a four inch blade that comes to a really steep tip but is still pretty thick and a four inch handle we got a satin blade with a stone tumble finish and a really nice deep carry pocket clip that hides this beauty away I mean, if it wasn't so big, this would be like a gentleman carry, the shark. It's a mean little knife, but it's great for EDC. Great for cutting up steaks, a restaurant, anything like that. The blade being so long, it may be a little scary, but I don't know. I think with it being as pretty as it is, that, um, that might mute the, the fear of it. But this thing action is just amazing now normally I wouldn't even have to shake it but it's sort of awkward the way I'm holding it it's it's drop shut smooth uh, push button it flies out and light switch oh see it's hard it's such a small space that I'm trying to do the same but, <laughs> but it light switches out perfect every time it flies out it's got a nice grip on it. Like I said, it's pretty grippy. I do wish this had some jimping you know, on the blade or back here. Um, because the blade being so thick, it, it leaves these liners open a little wider than I would normally like them to be. So you almost feel like your, your skin can push into that. Uh, so gripping on the blade because it's so thick is better, but still has no jimping. Really a nice, nice knife. I'm impressed with Artisan. I'm going to be checking out many more of their knives, especially if they're punching at this level for $40. Anything else I find like that, I'm going to be scooping up. Um, size comparison, we've got the Rat 2, which is really a whole different knife. I mean, they'll both do work, but the Rat 2's got, I mean, just a really, really thin flat ground blade whereas this has got I mean it's probably three three times as thick as this Rat 2's blade so that's the Rat 2 size then we've got let's see the squid CRKT squid there's size comparison for those it's quite a bit bigger I mean this this is actually a pretty beastie knife for as slim as it is and as small as it fits in your pocket and then finally let's do the CRKT or sorry the Kershaw Matrix in carbon fiber wow do I love this knife 
I'm going to do a video on it soon. Um, it, man, if this thing wasn't 8CR, if this was any upgraded steel, and even at 8CR, it is just steel. It is just amazing. It's beautiful. It's really impressive. It's probably one of the most impressive knives I have, and, and I've got over, what, 130. Like that. I just really love that blade profile. But anyhow, today I'm talking about the Shark, not the Natrix, and this thing's just as impressive. The blade shape's not as neat, or it doesn't stand out as much, but it's just really useful. I mean, you know, for piercing and slicing, this thing would be just great. It's not as slicey as I'd like because of that blade stock being so thick, but man, you could get in and, and break some stuff apart with this if you needed to. I don't suggest prying with any knife, but being that it's D2 and so thick, this one would probably do the trick in a pinch. This, this thing is just impressive. The action is just great. And the materials, $40. This is worth, you know, over and over and over again. That thing is just a steal. I mean, I love my best techs. I thought they were a bargain, but this thing is just, just incredible that they can do that at that price point. I don't know if it's gonna stay like that, so I would snatch this big boy up. I really would. But hey, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I don't have much more to say about it because I haven't used it for long. Just that thank you very much Slicey Dicey for selling this to me. I really appreciate it. It's the first time I've had a chance to get an artisan and I'm really glad I did. Thanks a lot. You guys have a great evening.